Hey guys, KRX50 here with another review. This time I'll be reviewing Blackwing and Len from Kamen Rider Dragon Knight. This is a figure set that includes Blackwing, Kamen Rider Wing Knight's contract beast, and Len, the human form of Kamen Rider Wing Knight, plus an advent card. So I'll start off by looking at the uh, least important part of the set, which is this figure of Len. Now these human figures, well there are three of them that have been released. One for the Drag Rider and Kit set, one for the Blackwing and Lens set, which is this one, and one for the Magnet Giga and Drew set. Now, the only real different, the only real difference between the three of them are the shirt color and the head sculpt. There really isn't much to see here. He has a kind of generic figure wearing black pants, a belt, a black shirt, and this head of a person wearing goggles. Wearing sunglasses. Articula articulation is 360 head rotation, 360 arm rotation, and a little bit at the waist, but it barely goes anywhere. As you can see, there's no symbol panel on the belt because, well, Bondi was lazy as far as these figures go. And, uh, well, there's. I, Apparently a little bit of quality control because you might not be able to notice, but uh, the part of the sunglasses here on this head sculpt are a little bit kind of unpainted, or there's a little bit chipping within the manufacturing process. And since this guy is wearing his sunglasses, it's really hard to tell how good a resemblance he pays to Matt Mullins, the actor who played Latin. That's the least important part of the set. Next is the Advent card, which is Wing Knight's attack event for Blackwing. It's back. And as far as the name Blackwing goes, it wasn't the original name. This contract beast was originally called Darkwing, though it seems like it was might have been changed to Blackwing to avoid confusion with the cartoon character Darkwing Duck. But that's never been confirmed, though it is possible. And it's interesting because, uh, for people familiar with Yu-Gi-Oh!, the monsters Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl were originally called Black Magician and Black Magician Girl. So it's kind of a reverse of that kind of scheme. Anyway, here's Blackwing itself, which is this blue and silver bat. Which uh, is quite nicely detailed, has a nice paint on it, and definitely has a lot more articulation. Has a kind of ball jointed head. Has wings that have uh, this first joint, a second joint, then a joint here at the wing tips. The legs are on ball joints, like so. Has a tail as a hinge joint and uh, that's the extent of its articulation. It's quite nice in all its details. Though what really makes this thing worth buying is its interaction with the standard scale Wing Knight figure. Because this can give him both his sword vent and his guard vent. To give him the sword vent, you detach the tail here then unfold it into the Wing Lancer, which has the Wing Knight emblem here in gold paint, and can fit right into Wing Knight's hand, like so. And so there he has his sword vent. That's quite interesting how a guy who has a sword for a visor gets a lance when he uses his sword card. Then again, that really supports his knight theme. Then, for the guard vent, you take Black Knight, see, you use these two pegs on the front and attach it to the two holes on the back of the Wing Knight figure. Like so. Then, from there, once you have the wings attached, you can fold the wings over him, then connect them in place, like so. 
straighten everything out. And you have the wing wall, his guard vent, where you have this nice silver wing knight emblem. And concerning how he has all these things with wing in the name, like the wing lesser and wing wall, it kind of makes sense why Kamen Rider Knight was rena renamed Kamen Rider Wing Knight in America. Because if they called him Kamen Rider Dark Knight, well, that would be a cut and fizzle with Batman, wouldn't it? And if you want to, you can have the wings spread out like this. And have him hold the wing lancer at the same time. So that's nice. That is pretty nice. As far as this set goes, it's really worth buying primarily if you have the standard Wing Knight action figure. Because, you know, on its own, well, the Lend figure is basically worthless. The admin card is only good if you have the American Drag Visor, which I don't. And Blackwing on its own isn't worth nearly as much as it's worth if you have the Wing Knight figure. So, you know, it's recommended to people who like Counter Knight Dragon Knight, and specifically to people who have this figure. So, please rate, comment, subscribe, and check out my blog at krx50.blogspot.com. And for now, this is KRX50, writing off.